Crop Talk on Market Journal is supported by Nebraska's soybean farmers and their checkoff. Finally, today you've heard us mention it several times now, dry conditions that folks are planning into this year. The Nebraska Drought Monitor actually shows that 98% of Nebraska is in moderate to exceptional drought. Those dry conditions have led to a variety of questions this planting season. We spoke with Extension Educator Jenny Reese earlier this week to get some of her suggestions. Well, here on today's Crop Talk, we are in the field visiting with Jenny Reese from Nebraska Extension. Jenny, the word of the year, unfortunately, across many regions of our, for our viewers this year is drought. And so today we're talking about some of the drought considerations as folks are getting up and going with their planting season. From a high level, what are some of the considerations that folks should be thinking about when dealing with drought? Yeah, over 90, 98% of the state is in D1 to D4 right now. So as we think about drought, we're thinking about what are the soil conditions. And as we go into the planting season, we want those soil conditions to be fit for planting. So we're thinking about soil temperatures. We're thinking about avoiding issues where we can get sidewall compaction. Usually that's not as much of a problem when we have dry conditions versus wet conditions. But we have heard some people say with as much wind as we've had, the soil is getting hard. And so it, that can make a difference too on planting conditions and trying to get through that. So some things to think about for soil temperatures. We've got some soil temperature thermometers out here, two inches and four inches. And right now they're reading above 50 degrees. 50 degrees is what we would like to see for soil temperatures as close to 50 degrees as possible for both corn and soybeans for the whole water uptake process. Right now they're reading um, 54 at two inches and about the same at four inches right now. But um, what we say is plant our corn and soybeans as close to 50 degrees as possible or mid 40s on a warming trend. And we're talking about right now as we tape this a cold snap again this weekend. And next week the temperatures when this is aired are not gonna be so great soil temperature wise. So we say that we would like to have beans in the ground at least eight to 24 hours before a cold snap for corn 48 hours. And the reason is because those beans can, can absorb the water, take in that water faster. They need to take up 50% of their seed weight in water, corn 35%, and it takes a little bit longer, and that's why the 48 hours. Let me, let me ask you this about soil temperature. Of course, there's the, the old-fashioned way of walking out into your field and, and probing it to see where your temperatures are. Are there also some online resources that you're monitoring across the state where producers can go and access that information? Yeah, that's a great question. So yes, through cropwatch.unl.edu, we have mesonet data, and so that's the weather stations throughout the state of Nebraska. It gives the four-inch soil temperature every day as well as the weekly average. So that's another resource. Thank you. Let's talk about the depth at which you're planting for both corn and soybeans. What are some of the things you want producers to be thinking about? So we want to be thinking about where's the moisture at in our soil. So in this particular field, I was digging and for me, to my knuckle is about an inch and a half and there's not, there's no moisture in this field down to an inch and a half. And so for corn we say, well in general, we would like to have that seed in in moisture, if at all possible. For corn, we can actually plant two and a half to three inches deep based on research from Purdue University. For soybeans, we would prefer not going deeper than two and a half inches. Our UNL research showed the best yields at 1.7, one, an inch and three quarters, but I recommend two inches. So the key thing is just uniform seeding depth, getting it into moisture. And the reason why, even with soybeans at this time of the year when we're planting early, we want it deeper so that we're in buffered soil moisture and temperature conditions and so that those beans aren't going to get out of the ground early before a frost. Yeah. So those are all considerations. So we've talked about soil temp, sidewall compaction a little bit on that front too, and depth for the seed. What else is important to mention, Jenny? Those are the key things. Um, seeding rates, some have asked about that. We just recommend talking to their um, seed dealer regarding corn seeding rates. Regarding soybean seeding rates, they can, based on our UNL research, plant 120,000 seeds per acre in 
30 inch rows, aim for a final stand of 100,000 seeds per acre and we haven't seen any yield reduction because of um, that seeding rate difference. So. These are important things to, to think about and to uh, be front of mind as planters are getting rolling. And of course, people can get all the information in a, in a written format online at cropwatch.unl.edu. Jenny, we sure appreciate the time. She is our guest on this week's Crop Talk.